that was a nice ride. Just wanted to listen to the uh, tractor run under load. That's not an overload with that little disc, but it does put the tractor to work. Got the whole field done. Something real nice to see. Yep, still dry. That was a light cut over, cutting about uh, two inches deep. That'll uh, kind of put a hurt on the winter weeds that were out there. I didn't want to cut it deep. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Don't want this to turn into a big mud puddle before time to plant when I really cut deep. But it was a nice track to ride. I had a good time. Shined up the blades. I'll tell you what, even though I wasn't cutting that deep, uh, the little fur fillers, that's the first time they actually got into dirt. You can see, I'll show you where the paint got off on this one, right there. That thing, I just guessed at the size. I didn't know what size was gonna work, but that thing is perfect. There's, the field has got no ruts in it. That disc, without those fillers on there, those fur fillers, that disc leaves ruts. I don't care how you lap it, it would leave ruts. But those little fur fillers did the trick. I got everything I needed for that up at Agri Supply. I think there was a video of me putting them on. I had a bent axle back here and uh, I replaced it, but that just works so much better. Well, put uh, this back together. The uh, cousin Scott came over last night. I picked up some parts for him, something called uh, subsolar points for his John Deere 23B subsolar while I was up at Agri Supply yesterday getting the muffler for this. And he helped me throw all that back together. A lot easier with two people. And the new muffler, I carried it over to the muffler shop. And that guy does such pretty work. I didn't want to mess with it. I, but the little pipe that comes on this muffler, I think I showed it to you, it's about that long. Well, he put me that nice long. It's hanging upside down. I've got primer on it. But that is enough length there on that pipe to get the exhaust up over your head like I was complaining about uh, in the previous video. But tractor looks funny with no muffler there. I gotta let that primer dry. I think what I'm gonna do is tomorrow I'll stick the muffler on it, crank the tractor, let the heat from the engine come up through there and, and kind of cook, bake that primer. And then if it's not raining here, I'll paint it with the black paint. This stuff held up real good. I did notice on this muffler right here, uh, when the tractor got under load, uh, it, it finished cooking that, and it didn't bubble up and come off, so I think it's a good product. Here, I'll show you the paint I used. Okay. Uh, VHT flame-proof primer, good for something like uh, 1300 to 2000 degrees and then that's the paint uh, be that black color right there got it at advanced auto uh, hope it stays on there yeah if I'd have painted that uh, muffler on the John Deere sooner and took better care of it I wouldn't have had to replace it but I don't know it got away from me well Got one more day off, and then I go back to the cigar shop tomorrow. Got a little, if, you know, depends on what it does with the rain. Everybody, thanks a bunch for watching my videos. Thanks for being here. God bless each and every one of you.
Bye, y'all.